a really simple drill press table that takes less than 20 minutes to build. Needed uh, to have a real simple, effective drill press table, and so uh, here's what I built. Now, you can take more time and you can see some really good videos, and I put links to uh, two of those in my description, and those are for more permanent solutions. Although I built this one a couple of months ago, and so far I haven't felt the need to replace it. What I did was I took a piece of plywood that was 14 inches uh, in depth and 17 inches across. Make yours whatever size you'd like it to be. I placed that on top of my platform here and traced a couple of lines where that platform matches. All I'm trying to do there is decide where to put some runners. When I created the runners, I made them a little wider at, at the end where I will be sliding it on and then more narrow at the uh, trailing end. That way it snugs up on that table. All right, so that's the bottom. I have another layer that's designed to be thrown away when it gets all cut up with holes in it. And so that's just attached in one place in a corner here with a screw. <clears throat> and then make sure the screw doesn't go all the way through. Well, actually it wouldn't matter. And then uh, I've taken a really straight faced piece of wood of some thickness to support my work pieces. And I've anchored that in one corner. Doesn't matter where. Uh, just anchor it in a corner. Take that assembly, which had a total of one, two, three, four, five pieces, very simple scrap pieces that you have around, slide it onto your table. You will need to uh, use a clamp to secure it to the base. Make sure that that clamp's out of the way of your work piece that you want to work on. This rotates, so, and the beauty of that I can slide my workpiece in, adjust my height to where I need it to be, and then this just, you can just pivot this so easily. You're not dealing with clamps on both sides. You're just pivoting this to get it lined up with your spot. Put another clamp over here holding the rail or the fence, and you're done. You can just slide this piece along depending on how big of a mortise you're hogging out. I hope you find that helpful. If you did, please do a like and subscribe and hit the notification button. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.